Hello, today we're going to do, do an unboxing of some Lay Echo products. This is a new company, well, not really new. They're kind of like the Netflix of China, and they released many new products this week. And today we're going to review, not review, we're going to open these new products up, uh, consisting of the Lay Pro 3 Super Phone, they call it, just their smartphone flagship. These new Lay Me uh, Bluetooth headphones. Um, screen protector, case, and the S3 model, which is their low end. Uh, it's called the Lay S3, I think. We and probably just, won't be introducing the uh, screen protector too much. So. Yeah, I mean, it's I, just a screen protector. You're gonna see it in the uh, probably in the. I think this comes with one. So, anyways, let's get started. Um, right here, this is the Lay Pro 3. I'm gonna open it up, and first thing that greets you is the phone. It is a very nice looking phone. Very nice build quality. Um, very Apple esque. Even the the box is kind of fancy. Uh, Trying to get the thing out. It's kind of stuck. Let me just flip this. There it goes. So I'll move that off to the side. So nice build. Aluminum body. Very nice. Uh, fingerprint sensor. 16 megapixel camera. Um, it's an AP screen. Uh, dual stereo speakers. Um, and it has the brand new 821 processor. It's the fastest processor on the market for smartphones at least. Okay, so behind that we have a smart charger. That's why it's so big. It Basically that means it charges your phone very fast. A USB-C cable about nine feet long, pretty generous length. And some headphones that are CDL, CD, um, I think it's CDLMA or whatever, but that's what they call it. It's Adobe headphones. They're really nice. They look like ear pods. Apple inspired packaging, Apple inspired design. Uh, we'll see how well those hold up. And then underneath that is the 3.5 millimeter adapter. It plugs right into the, uh, the the USB port on the bottom of the phone. They have that because unfortunately, like Apple, they don't have a headphone jack. Yeah, one downside, but... Keep but the only good thing to that is that this is a USB-C connector, so therefore, instead of it uh, being more wear and tear because they pop in and out, this one will actually tear less, I believe, than Apple will because it's USB-C and not a stick-out port. Also, um, inside here, it comes with a little um, SIM uh, remover tool. SIM ejection tool. Yeah, and a couple of manuals, just your basic stuff. And it looks like they're generous enough to include a flimsy plastic TPU case. Hey, protection is better than no protection. Yes. <laughs> and um, for basically, this is um, top of the line specs. And Can we see the edges of the phone? Yeah, let's get the phone out here again. Um, it is full aluminum. Very shiny. Looks very like glossy. Touch ID? Touch, uh, yeah. Uh, fingerprint sensor. You got a nice 60 megapixel camera. Dual flash. Is this true tone flash? Yes. And you have dual stereo speakers. Um, this is actually just for looks at the bottom. There's only one speaker at the bottom, but then this is a loudspeaker as well. has um, a front-facing 8-megapixel uh, camera. 8? 8-megapixel eight camera and um, 1080p screen. Like I said, 4 gigs of RAM, 64 gigabytes of data. Oh, that was 3. No, it's 4 gigs of four RAM gigs. Oh. and 64 gigabytes of storage. So this is basically the same specs with the, with the exception of the screen uh, being slightly lower resolution. It's the same specs as the Pixel XL phone that's 769 and this phone is only 299.99 if you get it during their flash cell which is uh, once a week. So what are the two ports at the top? Is that a noise cancellation microphone? I believe it is and, and that's an IR blaster up on top. Oh, so an IR blaster. So control your TV from this possible. Yeah. So this phone is probably like spec wise this phone is like a competing with those $700 flagship phones except it's only $300. And it's because that company um, that just launched is basically selling their stuff at cost because they want to push their new streaming service, which is going to be launching pretty soon. So definitely very nice. So let's move on to the next product because we're going to kind of we're going to be testing all these products out for the next two weeks, and then when we're done testing them, we'll be back with the with our thoughts, and we'll give you kind of more of a breakdown. So. I'm going to put this stuff out of the way for now, and let's move on to the second phone. It's like the second tier phone. So this was the high-end phone. The next phone is their S3 model. It's called, the, I believe it's called a Lay S3. And this phone is the uh, cheaper model. 
It's the 149.99 model if you get the $100 uh, instant rebate during a flash sale, otherwise it's $249. And it's not that much slower than the flagship. It's really cheap. It's competing against uh, Motorola X devices, so um, which costs a lot more money and have a lot worse specs. So here we go. It looks very, very similar to their more expensive model. Um, I'm trying to get the phone get out. Over. The case is completely different than the... Um, uh, one sec, I'll take it off camera because I'm going to have to... There we go. It's more difficult than I thought. So, it's a little bit lighter because one thing, it, it the finish isn't as shiny, but it is aluminum. It's more of like just like a matte finish, which is kind of nice because you won't get the fingerprints. has the same 16 megapixel camera, has the same um, fingerprint sensor, does not have stereo speakers, just the speaker at the bottom, just like the uh, old iPhone did. And... Um, 1080p screen now, only 3 gigs of RAM, uh, 32 megabytes of storage. Uh, you can see the difference. There's no difference physically besides it's being a little thinner because it has a smaller battery. And it doesn't look as glossy, but same screen, just lower power. On the back, you can see the difference between the shine. It's quite a big difference. Um, filling them, this is definitely a lot lighter. And honestly, it's kind of nice that it's lighter and it's a little thinner, so it's a little bit more comfortable. But like I said, this is running the Snapdragon 6. 51 I, I want to say, which is um, their mid-tier phone, but it pretty much outperforms the 808, which is the old high tier, so most people don't care, don't know that, but this is pr pretty much like a $500 phone, and they're selling it for $150 during the flash sale, so that's a great deal. Um, so, moving on, I don't know if this, oh, it pops out, there you go. So, underneath, it looks like we have the same exact charger, fast charger. Same cable as before, uh, nine foot a CD um, USB-C cable. Same headphones and same adapter because, like its big brother, it does not have a built-in headphone jack. But I heard that the, the uh, digital audio converter that's built in, which maybe very few of you even care about, is um, pretty nice from what I heard. So unfortunately, most phones are probably start getting a leeway and away from having. 3.5 jack because unfortunately wireless is the future and unfortunately <laughs> Apple started it. The accessory box is a lot thicker than its other one. That's because I guess they stick the uh, the, the flimsy same flimsy case, but they stick it inside the accessory box. And a couple manuals and um, the SIM unlock thing, whatever you call it, tool. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, we're also going to be uh, running this through its tests, through its paces, and let you know what we think about it within the next couple of weeks. So get that out of the way for now. And final product. Um, one thing I did want to show you real quick, which I thought was absolutely ridiculous. This is a screen protector. You can, when you order the phone, you can buy it for like, I believe it's an extra five bucks. Kind of high, but it's tempered glass, so it's kind of nice. And hold on, I have another one off camera here that I can actually open easier. Um, at least I thought I could. Maybe not. Anyways, this is crazy packaging. It's like super crazy packaging, so you don't have to worry about that glass screen protector breaking because they really package it well. Stick it in an envelope, you open it up, and it's glass. And it even comes with a practice screen protector, which is like a, another screen protector. So you get two screen protectors in this ridiculous package. And you definitely want to put that on any phone. So, best to protect those screens. But <laughs> you got to protect the screen, apparently. Yeah. Final th finally, we have their flagship Bluetooth headphones, which, when you buy their phone, they give you an option to get it 60% off. These are um, usually, um, these are usually, I believe, $40. You can purchase them with a coupon for $17.99. I don't know if that's open to everybody. Um, you have to spin the wheel they have to get the different discounts. You can even get these cheaper, I believe. Um, these have been uh, being sold on Amazon as a beta for, for a few months, I believe, and now they're kind of going live on their website. You open the box, it's very Beats-like, but if you go inside the packaging, it's definitely not as fancy as their phone packaging. You have this basic plastic, it's nothing fancy, but the headphones are very unique. They're very different looking. Very glossy. They have a glossy finish, so that probably will scratch up. And they have a very different design. Like you don't see many of these. Um, Patrick actually tried these out. He didn't like them because he thought they fell off his head and they weren't very comfortable. I've been using them, and I have to say they're pretty comfortable. I think it depends on your head size. Um, 
Um, it really depends on your head size. Oh, I, mean, I didn't know it did that. Yeah, they adjust, but the thing is, if you have a, a round head, they're more comfortable. Uh, if you have a small head, they're more comfortable. But if you have a like a like a Patrick head, which is kind of like a long head, it's um, definitely gonna not be the most. Um, so if I try to put these on, and the buttons are on this side because it shows an R right here. So the buttons are on the back, which I find kind of odd. I'm gonna put these back down because I'm not entirely positive I put these on right, but it's supposed to be something like. This. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's different. It's very different, and I think what it is is they're trying for like an open ear concept, and it just sits over the canals, kind of. I, mm -hmm. I just, I mean, you shake your head enough, you go jogging, they might not. I don't think those are jogging channel. headphones. I think, I think those are like lay in bed. And, yeah. <laughs> make sure your uh, spouse doesn't wake up in the middle of the night if you want to watch something yeah. headphones. But I would not go jogging with those headphones. Um. One thing that's really unique and nice is if you look closely, the headphones all integrated. It's just like one nice integrated smooth piece, so that is pretty nice. If if you don't like stuff hanging on your ear, it is pretty nice, and it's this really really nice cushions right here. So I think this is kind of like a maybe you like, oh, maybe you won't. It's a micro USB charger. Yeah, micro USB, which unfortunately doesn't come in the box, but. Most people have like a hundred of these laying around the house yeah. because many devices use I know them. I have a lot. I really wish they would have included the charger. Maybe it, oh, you oh, know what? Hey, look at that. Oh, I guess they did. They Almost just, included everything, just no brick. You get the cable, no brick, but I think they figure you're just going to plug the cable into their brick for their phone, which it does go in and it will charge it. Not fast charging because it's not supported on the headphones, but better than nothing. So that's our final product we ordered. Uh, maybe in the future we'll get their TVs, but. I don't personally think their TVs are that great of a bargain. They're kind of more than a lot of Samsung and LG uh, TVs. So I don't know why you take a chance with the new brand on those until they're really proven. But like I said, we're going to be running our paces through uh, not so much the headphones because we kind of gave you the quick rundown on those just now. But we will be um, trying out the L, the Lay Pro 3 and the S3, which not to be confused with the Samsung S3. But they call it the Lay S3. We'll be trying that out too within the next uh, two weeks. And we will let you know what we think and if we think it's worth it. So Patrick's going to get one more close up on the products. And then we'll be going away. I'm done talking. Goodbye.